The deadline to start recounting votes in Pennsylvania's U.S. Senate race is Wednesday, but they're still battling in the legal trenches over which votes should be counted. The Dave McCormick campaign, the Republican National Committee, and the Pennsylvania Republican Party are challenging the Philadelphia County Elections Board's decision to count 966 provisional ballots in Philadelphia County at issue a mix of missing voter signatures, missing local election officials' signatures, or a missing check mark for why the voter was using a provisional ballot. Adam Bonin is an attorney for the Casey campaign. The McCormick campaign is seeking to strike these uh, provisional ballots in counties across the Commonwealth based on technicalities, which weren't the voters' fault. We're trying to get those counted and trying to get uh, additional provisional ballots counted by valid voters where we believe that they shouldn't be disenfranchised based on uh, paperwork errors. In its own legal action, the Casey campaign argues a violation of federal law and voters' rights in Bucks County. At issue, that board of election is not counting 74 voter provisional ballots solely based on problems caused by the poll workers' error. On the McCormick side, Gates McGavick, a senior advisor with the Republican National Committee. Right. Well, first things first, uh, Bob Casey really has no path to victory in this recount. That's been true yesterday. It's true today. It will remain true tomorrow. Uh, with regard to provisional ballots, of which there are not that many, uh, Pennsylvania code is very clear. A provisional ballot that does not have a signature and does not have a secrecy envelope shall not be counted. With Commitment 2024 coverage, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.